Good day, everyone. It's natural living with Marx and Sun. Hello, natural livers. With our yurt, it's coming slowly to an end. And the build-up is coming very soon. Uh, we have two or three parts to finish and we want to finish them this weekend and then the build-up will start and we're really excited about that and right before that I thought I will share with you um, a bit of how we calculated everything and show you ways um, that you can uh, on the internet uh, calculate most of your yours yourself so let's go what we used most of all was um, an Excel file from um, the guy that we did the Yurt course at. His name is Claudius Kern. Uh, he's from Austria and Germany. I will put a link in the description below to his website. And uh, we got like a calculation chart of him that I'm going to show you now. So this is what the chart looks like. I hope you can see enough. Um, it's basically a bunch of numbers and it's really like you have to work with it for a bit to um, find out how it works. Um, it's based um, on sacred measurements and you have like different types of uh, measurements here which is like the Hunab, the sacred cube, I think also one of the American measurements is sort of like going pretty equal to one of those. Um, so yeah, our yurt is based on sacred measurements um, to make the energy flow really in a harmonious way and to like really have the, the best effects of the yurt so that the cosmos can really blow through it, literally. Um, yeah. And then you have basically everything from like uh, the wall to like the roof angle, which 27 is a very good cosmic ratio, to like how many wall elements you want to have and all these, these kind of things. This is also, by the way, the calculation chart for the yurt that we are building. And if you want to build a yurt with a normal like wall kana, like the Mongolian style, then you need like a different one. Um, so yeah, that's that. And now I will show you the other one for the Mongolian style. The other website is called simplydifferently.org. This is a pretty, pretty nice one. You really have to check that out. Uh, you can go on the home, you can go to Yurt and, or Gur. Gur is the Mongolian name for Yurt. So how it's actually called there. And then you have a uh, yurt notes and calculator here. And then you have like some basic explanatory things and like how to connect things. So basically here it's it's a pretty like basic uh, explanatory of um, how to build a yurt, uh, the Mongolian style. And um, yeah, it doesn't really, these kind of things, I have to tell you, if you live like in a temperate climate, um, they, or, or even like in a, in a cool temperate climate, they really won't work for you. They will, you will have lots of problems with mold and, and it will be really moist and it won't be so nice. But um, I'm using still some of the, like uh, I'm using this calculator here. So here you have the yurt calculator and you can uh, type in all your sort of you know, like your measurements of your yurt how you want it to be and it's like a standard here and you can like say okay I want to have like the 27 degrees here because this is sort of a cosmic measurement and you can like just type in uh, whatever is there. Um, it's in uh, the metric system but you can sort you have sort of here like a recalculator for the English and then it basically really, if you if I go, go here for calculate, it takes you all the way through and you get all the data of like your your wall 
and um, if you if you make like this Mongolian type of wall that you can see here uh, it will it will tell you everything like where uh, how long these poles have to be and where you have to put holes in it and, and where to connect them and everything and then also here what I was using a lot um, is uh, the how to make the roof canvas and you have here like Shumiyuma, that doesn't work. Um, maybe like that. Well, this focus is a bit annoying. Yeah. Okay, and then you have um, like your cutoff angle that you have to use to make basically the 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 yurt roof from flat to three-dimensional and then you also have like your cutoff angle you have to cut off on the side here to make it um, to make it in this shape and I also calculated that here one more time um, to uh, be sure that it's really correct okay and then you have all of your calculations here and it really takes like also you can calculate the lanes of like your canvas when you buy it and like how broad that is and how um, like how many overlaps you want to have and all these kind of things so this is really good to to start with and you can take a lot out of here um, to basically calculate and construct your your yurt I also in the future will make a few uh, videos on uh, special types of calculations that are not like in this specific chart and if you are interested in any sort of calculation how to do that then please write it in the comments below and I will make a video on this thanks for watching don't forget to scrub 9 and be happy Boom.